What's up Baller Nation, Augie Johnston here with BallerBootCamp.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a whole bunch of different basketball drills for beginners. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We release basketball training tutorials all the time and if you're not new, hit that like button to let me know you like these videos that I'm bringing you. So alright guys, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So like I said, at that beginner stage, it really is difficult for them to dribble the basketball. So what we want to do is we want to work on being able to do things that are going to build upon being able to dribble and dribble through your legs someday or whatever. So for that, we use wraps. We use ball wraps. So for example, around the waist is one variation. Around the head is one variation. You can go around the leg. Down here is a variation. Another one, it could be through the leg figure eight or reverse through the legs here. And as you can see, eventually this is going to build upon being able to actually drill the ball through your legs. But to start, they got to be able to do this first. This is old school Pistol Pete stuff and stuff that beginners really need to be doing on a daily basis. I would say, even though these are super basic drills, that you can do these drills from the day you pick up a basketball all the way up until the eighth grade. I can remember in seventh and eighth grade specifically doing these pretty often as a warm up myself. And so it's just something that I think that it can benefit all ages. Okay, now in building upon that, you can also do drills where you are rolling the basketball. Okay, this is good for beginners as well. Work on rolling the ball through the legs, figure eight. Like I said, eventually this is gonna build up for, to them being able to do this. But you gotta start somewhere, right? And rolling the ball is a great way. You can even do this full court or sideline to sideline where you're rolling the ball and taking steps. This eventually, like I said, is gonna build up to being able to go through the legs. You can even do this full court or sideline to sideline where you're rolling the ball, taking steps, and moving as fast as you can. Eventually, that's going to build up to being able to do this and walk with the basketball and other more advanced dribble moves. Now, the next drill that I want to show you is a way to help beginners learn how to dribble the ball up the court with a defender on them. So, if you can imagine if I have a defender on me and I got to dribble the ball up the court, I can't be dribbling the ball and switching hands and dribbling it with my left hand at all, right? Defenders here, I need to actually have the technique to be able to run full speed, keep my defender locked in here, and dribble that ball on the right side of my body. So it's hard to demonstrate half speed. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like full speed. Okay, so like you just saw, I was able to protect that ball, keep it on my hip while advancing up the court with a defender on me. Young players, they really want to run and dribble that ball right, left, right, left when they're dribbling up the court instead of keeping it protected on the right side. So that's the protection dribble. Now let's go ahead and get into another dribble variation that you can teach your beginners. Okay, so the next one you want to teach your beginners is the retreat dribble, okay? No special drill needed for this. You can really just line them up at half court and have them practice moving backwards with this retreat dribble. So that's what the retreat dribble is, right? I have a defender here, I'm sideways, the ball's on the back side here, protected, and I'm gonna use the retreat dribble to back out of trouble. Maybe I dribble the ball into a trap, I see a trap, I need to retreat out and be able to do that. So let me go ahead and just show you what this drill would look like full speed. And the last way that beginners need to be able to dribble the ball and navigate on the court is with a speed dribble. Now the speed dribble is where you're switching from right to left. Now this is what you're going to do in the open court. Say you get an outlet and you got just daylight ahead of you and you want to push the ball full court. You're going to throw it with your right, left, right, all the way full court. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like full speed. Alright, so for this last basketball drill for beginners, we're going to work on our passing, okay? All beginners really need to work on their passing because it helps them actually pass the ball and also work on catching the ball, which is a huge problem for, for beginner basketball players. So, for this drill, you're going to need a partner. So you want to get about lane line distance and we're going to be stepping out with our right foot and using our right hand to make these passes. Let's go ahead and rep a few out. Step out, pass. Step out, pass. Step out, pass. Okay, hold it. Okay, so you can go for a time or number of reps. Let's say you go for 20 reps. Then you're going to switch to the left side. Left hand, step out, pass, step out, pass, step out, pass. Good, relax. And that's it for this passing drill, okay? It's, beginners need to be doing passing drills. They don't have the, the power in their passes yet, or like I said, the catching ability. 
So this is a good one for you guys to do with your young youth beginner players. All right, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys found one or two more basketball drills for beginners that you can use. And if you did, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. Also, like I said, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Share this if you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what the kind of videos you want to see, and I'll bring them to you. Also, most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. Head over there. I got a free workout for you that you can download, print out, and follow to improve your shooting, improve your ball handling. It's 100% free, so go ahead, click the link that's on the screen right now now or first link in the description if you're on a mobile device and I'll see you guys inside that workout.